Okay, it is 10 after 8 p.m. And that's just what time we're getting out today because I had a very fussy baby and it's cold. It's gonna be minus 20 tonight. That was cold. Like you know that saying, why do I live where the air hurts my face? The air hurts my face. I'm wearing like a combo item. Ah, this jacket is down filled with like an outer layer that's like a shell. So it's kind of like two items in one. Not packable, but definitely a winner for tonight's run. Standard trail shoes, wool socks, and like just some pants with some windshields on them. Again, I was like warm enough for, I only did a couple of kilometers, so it wasn't that big of a deal. Fleece neck warmer, which I wish I'd actually worn a buff because I would have put it up over my face when I was like doing some hills, but this was the choice made, so that's what I had to live with. Like just hand-me-down winter mitts. Like they're so old, but they were warm. I wanted mitts instead of gloves tonight. And it's just a standard like Thermalite hat. I think it's from Nike. Um, probably old as well. Boob cam slash messy house cam. I can't move right now because there's a baby sleeping on me and he's been lightly napping today so I can't like put him down. I have to hold him. But somehow I can just talk and he'll keep sleeping, which I don't understand, but whatever. My training outline is three times a week and I'm trying to do eight kilometers total in those three runs. If I can do more than that, that's great. But if I can't, then I'm not that worried about it. I just want to try and be consistent and set like achievable goals. I'm trying to include one workout in the, one of those three runs. So typically it's like either hills or a interval workout. I haven't done a hill workout yet, but I'm hoping I can get up to one soon. Oh, hills are hard and hills with a stroller are so hard, but we'll try maybe next week. Hopefully next week, I'll stick to the 400 meter repeats until I grow the courage to try a hill workout. The other two runs, I try to just make sure they add up to the eight kilometers for a weekly total. This strategy works really well for me because I can really listen to my body each day that I plan on going out and I can decide how far I want to go. I'm really liking having this weekly distance target because it helps me with working in all the different factors that are associated with winter running, such as like the road conditions, whether it's crunchy or sloshy or icy versus the temperature versus how I'm feeling that day, depending on what time of day I'm running at, whether it's 10 in the morning or eight o'clock at night. It's really helpful because I can decide what's going to work best for me that day.